And a cold strike on the game's first pitch as we bring you this one here tonight. First pitch, 5 o'clock. Hit out towards second. Altuve has it. On to first, and Fowler is retired for the game's first out. And now we look at the starting lineup for the visitors in this one. Who's the one to watch, E.K.? You know, I'm looking forward to seeing what that guy in the five spot can do. He's a home run threat every time he steps into the box. If they want to shut him down, they're going to have to be careful and keep the ball low in the zone. And don't give him anything he can drive. Striding into the box, Corey Seager, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Right there for strike one. Time to take a look at the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Mike Fillmore. Well, accuracy is always appreciated with umpires, and Fillmore, he's no exception. He'll miss one here and there, but it's really pretty rare from what I hear. Throw on to first, two gone. And with that, let's take a look here at the lineup defensively for the American League. It's brought to us by Majestic. Eric, what do we need to know? Well, guys, somebody you don't want to test in this outfield, the left fielder. He's got a very good arm, very aggressive, charges balls extremely well, and covers a lot of ground. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. One of the things that makes him so tough to hit, the ability to put his pitches right on the black. Yeah, I mean, you watch the catcher's glove. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. So a fairly painless top of the first. It's the National League nothing. American Leaguers coming to bat. You're watching the Major League Baseball All-Star Game exclusively on the show. A chance now to take a look at how the home team lines up in this one. Eric, who should we keep an eye on? Well, I'll be keeping an eye on what that leadoff hitter can do in Leading this one. He's one of the fastest guys in all of baseball. His speed can be the difference maker. Having that kind of speed on the base path is a huge headache for opposing pitchers. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. To short, Seeger is up with it. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Batting second. In now, Mookie Betts. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Cueto sends his sights. Here comes the first pitch. On the ground to the right side. Murphy showing off his range. Throw gets him, two down. Now that we have a chance, let's take a look here at how the National League will align themselves defensively. It's brought to us by Majestic. Eric? Well, guys, when you talk about the great players in the game, Paul Goldschmidt is at the top of any list. Known for his offense, defensively he has made great strides. In fact, in 2015, he won the National League Gold Glove Award at first base. Helps his infield out tremendously, an asset over at first base. One of the players to watch in this ball game. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Fowler will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. We've played an inning, still nothing, nothing. Nolan Arenado makes his way to the plate. He'll get us started here in the top of the second. And this is a guy that can make a big change in this game with one swing of the bat because you know he has big-time power. Sale gets the sign. First pitch on the way. Out in front of it, strike one. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Anthony Rizzo digs in here for his first appearance. Anthony Rizzo. And a ball 1-0. Oh. Yeah, and coming right off of that strikeout, he's got to be thinking he should be ahead of this next guy. That's a tough way to fall behind. A good action on the two-seamer there, and it's 1-2. and two. 
Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. A little low, it's two and two. And here's a changeup in there for a cold third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Joanna Cespedes stands in looking to put the bat on the ball for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. And a check swing here, but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. No score here as we play inning number two. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. Real good lateral movement on that two-seam fastball. That pitch is money for him when it's moving like that. So just keep on throwing it. Hard hit down the line. And a little self-preservation down at first as he pulls that one in to end the inning. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. On now to the bottom of the second, and we are tied nothing-nothing. David Ortiz strides into the Leading box now the to American lead off League. the home half of the Designated second inning. Hitter, David Ortiz. And this is taken for a strike by the 40-year-old veteran. No balls in a strike. Tonight, borderline calls, you got to be swinging. Chopped at the plate. Posey scoops it up, and a good throw gets him one gone. Batting fifth, third baseman, Miguel. So the bases are empty with one man gone, and that'll bring in the ever dangerous third baseman, Miguel Cabrera. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. And like most right-handed power guys, he's a good high ball hitter. So, so that's where you're going to want to keep that fastball going forward. The wind up and the 0 1. And this is high, a ball and a strike. Yeah, that's a good spot to miss against a guy like this. He loves that pitch up in the zone. Most power hitters do, so that's not a bad idea to give him one above the letters. Throw on to first will take care of Cabrera for the second out. Batting six. First baseman, Eric. So bases are empty here with two gone. And standing in, here's the first baseman, Eric Hosmer. Smoked on the ground up the middle. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. And that'll break the string of five straight to start the night. They finally get their first base runner here with two outs in the second. Good to at least get something on this guy before he really settles into a groove out there. Manny Machado swings and misses there, so he's down 0-1. Mm. Just overmatched him there. The 0-1 pitch. And it's quickly 0-2. A little bit off the outside, it's one and two. Sent on the ground out to second. Murphy's got it. 
throw in time, and the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. We'll go now to the top of the third, and we are tied nothing-nothing. Bryce Harper will stand in now to lead things off. 7-8-9 and nine here to start the third inning. And maybe one of these guys can break this string of six straight retired to start the ball game. Paul Hamels is on, and he'll take over on the mound. Bryce Harper leads it off here. Bottom third of the order set to go here in the third. Josh Donaldson has come into the ball game now as he now takes over as the new third baseman. Well, he's faced the minimum so far, and obviously it's still early, but they need to get something going because you can't let this guy settle in out there. Now a fastball to start the third. That misses. It's ball one. That evens it up. One and one. To short. Hit hard. Backhanded. Throw to first in time. And the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Batting eight. Catcher. Buster Posey. One away now. Here's the catcher, Buster Posey. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. Swing and a miss, and he's in control. 0-2. Oh, one thing you've got to be aware of as a hitter is he's going to give you a bit of a variety up there. He's got five pitches, and he's going to use all of them. Third inning, no score to this point. And another foul ball. Hamels peers in. 0-2 oh on its way. The next 0-2 misses, and that'll move it to 1-2 now. Drill down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. Batting ninth. Daniel Murphy second takes baseline. his first shot here Daniel with the runner at first now Murphy. and one away. Runners on the move for second. On the ground to third. To second for one. On to Hosmer, a double play, and the inning is over. Nothing doing there for the National League. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Noah Syndergaard will come in and pitch now. For the National League, number 34, Noah Syndergaard. Jackie Bradley Jr. stands in. Leading off for the American League. Left fielder, Jackie Bradley Jr. Oh, and he just blows the fastball by him for strike one. Very difficult to get on top of a pitch when it's coming in that high. Darn near impossible when it's coming at you in the high 90s. You just can't get your hands up there fast enough to stay on top. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Harper is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. So one away now, and here comes the catcher, Salvador Perez. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swung on and missed that time. It's 0-1. Yeah, when that's upstairs like that, that's a pitch you've got to leave alone and make him bring something down. Gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Salvador Perez is a multiple gold glove winner behind the plate, including in 2015, but he can definitely do some damage with the bat as well. 
That misses one and two. Yeah, Perez is just a fantastic all-around player. And you know, he was the first catcher since 1992 to be named World Series MVP. Well, Matt, he's what we call TP, a total package. And this is why, as a hitter, working the count in your favor is so important. I mean, here, this is probably a ball, but you can't risk taking this pitch on one and two and hope that you get the benefit of the umpire's call. You pretty much have to swing at it, even though you probably wouldn't have been able to do much with it in the first place. Line drive to left. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Digging in to try it again, Mookie Betts. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. And you figure now this would be a spot where that man might try to take second base. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to hold the ball a little longer out there on the mound. Really bury your times to the plate. You can't be predictable out there or he'll take advantage. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Slider misses and he's in danger of losing him here three and one. Is he worrying too much about that guy on first? Uh, I, I think he might be. Guys worry so much about the stolen base, but they don't realize that a walk is ten times worse. Throw over to the bag. Don't want to forget about him. Three and one. Here it is. Swing and a ball hit fairly well. Heading high and deep toward right center. And Fowler will put this one away to retire the side. AL leaves one. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Dexter Fowler is ready here as we begin the top of the fourth. is into the ball game here as he takes over behind the plate. Now catching number 32. Hamels has his sign. Here's his offering. First pitch is a cutter looked at 0-1. You can't try to outthink him up there. Just get a good pitch and square it up. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate and he'll have another shot at it here. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. Here we go on an 0-2 count. All you have to do is start that thing right down the middle of the plate and then just let it work its way in. Hopefully get a swing through or maybe even a shattered bat. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Yeah, not a real good job of pitch recognition there. I mean, this ball was going to be in on his hands to begin with. I don't know quite what he saw that made him want to swing at that thing, but it just completely locked him up there. Corey Seager is in for the second time here as he looks at a ball high, 1-0. The windup and the 1-0 pitch. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Over the outside half, and it's two and one. Got to like the approach right here. He's basically saying, if you're going to beat me, you're going to have to take it to left field because I don't think he's going to give this guy anything he can pull.
Now a bullet foul as the third base coach had to give her the old Ole that time. Swing and a looper to left. Bradley moving in. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. Paul Goldschmidt is into the box. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. First pitch on its way. Behind on that one. Now behind in the count. 0-1. And he falls behind 0-2. Try to change of pace with two strikes there, but it misses one and two. Throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. One, two, three, go the National Leaguers. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Jose Fernandez will be the now new pitcher. For the National League, number 16. Now at the plate, Mike Trout. He flew out in his last at bat. And a fastball there is inside as that one backed him up a bit. Whoa, there's that calling card right there. First pitch up and in right out of the bullpen. Wake up, everybody. Line toward the alley in left center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. You talk about getting the bat head out in front. <laughs> this is rifled up the middle. Can't square up a baseball any better than that. Here comes the DH now, David Ortiz. As he'll take a look at ball one. No runs, three hits. No errors thus far for the American League. On the move is Trout from first. Pitch outside. The throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. And later in the game, maybe you question this decision to run because you worry about taking the bat out of the hands of one of your best hitters. But here in a scoreless game, I doubt they're going to put him on. So that was a good job to take what's given to you. Now a swing and a ball hit foul to first as the first base coach had to do a little skip to my Lou there. Hit hard up the middle. Gloved by Murphy. Throws in time and that's out number one. Josh Donaldson settles into the box for his first chance. He's set. Here it comes. And that's one cut one, on yeah. and missed 0-1. Any thought to bring in the infield in here with one away? Still a little early in my book. A run you can live with. What you don't want to do is let this snowball into a big inning. Swing and a miss, oh, and he's in the right. hole 0-2 now. And now this is where you can be just a little bit more selective as a pitcher. You're looking for the strikeout. You certainly don't have to throw a strike in either of the next two pitches. So you got to see if you can get him to chase. And indeed, the throw will finish him off as they get the put out at first, and there are two away now. Yeah, and that turns out to be a nice little play there behind the plate. 
They get the swing through for strike three, but then he's got to get the out over there at first base and make sure that nobody else advances. And he's able to accomplish both of those tasks. Eric Hosmer is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. and And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. You know, sometimes when you're thinking fastball, you try to get moving just a little bit early. And that's a good job of recognizing off speed. And the third baseman makes the play. That ends the inning. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. Back. Nolan Arenado heads for the box to start off the fifth in this one. Well, they still don't have any runs on the board yet, so getting this leadoff man on base would be huge. Dylan Vitensic is on, and he'll take over on the mound. Skied into very shallow right. Betts shading to his right. He's got it one away. An early look at the line score here tonight as we play the top of the fifth. And boy, just one lone hit for the visitors this evening as they've been taken to task by this starter. The chance is set. Here's the pitch. Anthony Rizzo will stand in for the second time as he watches one miss low. It's a ball and no strikes. 1-0 count. Here it is. That's wide. 2-0. And on 2-0, and oh, this is where he's the most dangerous up there. I know it's a fastball Ball count, inside. but I would maybe think about something else. Let it rip Great that ball. time 3-0, but the fastball's by him. 3-1, and one, living a little dangerously here. Yeah, you don't have to go looking for trouble. Trouble will find you if you're putting pitches there. Therefore, it is Donaldson, and there are two away now. Now batting, right fielder. Yoannis Cespedes stands in for the second time. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at-bat. Yeah, he put a good swing on it last time, so we'll see if he can make one fall hey. here. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing in one. And against a guy like this, you're usually only going to get one pitch to hit in that bat. Sometimes you might not even get that, so that's one he may walk back. In under the hands with a fastball, it's one and two. Well, I, I think that fastball is just for show there. He's not trying to throw this for a strike. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. And L down in order. Halfway home, still no score. Madison Bumgarner will come in and pitch now. Manny Machado stands in. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out. Sander Bogarts will get a shot here as a pinch hitter. Sander Bogarts. Oh, he looks like he's swinging a garden hose out there as this is cut on and missed for strike one. And for as bad as he missed that pitch, you can bet we're going to see that again before this at-bat's over. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0-2. 0-2 count, here's the pitch. Shot towards second. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. The left fielder number Jackie Bradley Jr. is into the box for his Bradley second appearance. 0-for-1 with a fly out. Smoke toward the hole. He lays out, but he can't make the play, and it's through into right. This is what you call an ambush swing right here. You're hitting in the back of the order. You're looking dead red early in the count, kind of just hoping the pitcher might relax and forget about you for a minute. Then you get that fastball middle in, and you jump all over it.
Here's the catcher, Matt Wieters, now. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. You know, it's just so tough to pick out a pitch that you want against a guy like this. Everything he throws is either on a corner or moving like crazy. He's not the kind of guy that's going to give you a lot of options up there to hit. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. A little tapper. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the sure out. The second baseman, number 27. Jose Altuve will dig in. One for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. Hoping to keep it tied. Here it comes. He goes the other way as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. And they're going to hit the board first tonight as this ball's down for extra bases. And they're going to take a 1-0 lead as the run comes across to score. And Altuve is into third base with a triple. Boy, a big spot for that. Come through with a two-out RBI triple to pick up the first run of the ball game. Here's Mookie Betts. Yank on the ground down the line. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Looking to keep this a one-run game. Here's a swing, and oh, man! Way out of here! It's a two-run shot to straightaway left as the AL goes out to a 3-0 lead. This is the chance you take when you work up in the zone like this. I mean, this is right in his happy zone, and he jumps all over it That's and sends it right over the wall. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout. Trout. As this is pop foul behind the plate, it's strike one. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Now the 0-2 pitch. Grounded to short. He's got it. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run homer. Xander Bogarts will stay in the ball game as a new shortstop. Now playing shortstop. Number two. Andrew Miller Sandra will get the call here as he'll start the sixth Number inning on the mound. The Number 48, Andrew Miller. off the inning Bryce Harper as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up well they've got some work to do here but there's still a lot of time left in this game so just chip away chip away now the 0-1 hits slowly back to the mound throw to first gets him so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth yeah and that's not always an easy play for a pitcher especially when he has to barehand the ball but luckily he's got plenty of time out there so he's able to set himself and then make a good, strong throw. Now to the plate, Buster Posey. He singled his last time up. And fellas, that's still their Aye. only hit in the game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Corner paint right there, 97 miles an hour. What are you going to do with that? 
And he wastes a fastball high there, one and two. A ball and two strikes, here it is. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Bradley is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Second baseman, Daniel, Daniel Murphy, Murphy will dig in. 0 for 1 here in this one. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at-bat. It's ball one. And that man right there, he's got to figure out some kind of combination to score some runs for him. They have really been scuffling. 3 and 0 now. Taking all the way, and it's three and one now. And at the plate, he might have been told, look, you're taken until you get a strike. Not a bad idea. No, and he ball takes four. ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. The Dexter Fowler will dig in now, hoping to perhaps make him pay for the two-out walk. Yeah, nothing going on earlier in this inning, but a chance to make some noise right here. Those kind of walks often seem to come back and fight guys somehow. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. Yeah, and I don't think I'd be in any big hurry to challenge this guy again. I'd see if I could make him go out of the zone, maybe chase a bad pitch. And now a slider in on the hands, and he's lucky that one didn't come and get him. Uh, you got to be careful with that inside location on 0-2. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. One left for the National Leaguers. They trail it here three to nothing. John Lester will come on now as he'll start out the bottom of the sixth. Number 34, John Lester. David Ortiz will stand in again. A couple of ground outs for him on the ledger in his two trips so far. Yeah, just sort of rolling over on it, guys. See if he can make a small adjustment and get through one here. Here's a curveball that runs outside. It's ball one. That's a pitch that you got to stay on top of or else it'll take off on you just like that one did. That'll be a souvenir, and the count will move to one and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. All even now. Two and two. A swinging bunt to the mound. A quick out number one. Third baseman number 20, Josh Donaldson. At the plate, Josh Donaldson. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and he went down in flames, too. Got him in just three pitches. Into the seats, 0-1. Josh Donaldson is, of course, one of the greatest players in the game today. But before he was a pro, he had a really nice college career at Auburn, the same program that has turned out other greats such as Frank Thomas, Bo Jackson, and Timmy Hudson. Lester has his target, 0-2 pitch on its way. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Yeah, that's the put-away curveball. A great pitch with two strikes. You start it in the zone and then let it work out and see if he'll chase. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Three runs, six hits. No errors thus far for the American League. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. Yeah, Donaldson primarily played catcher at Auburn, where he was a preseason All-American and an All-Star in the prestigious Cape Cod League. Yeah, and it's no surprise that he got to play in that Cape League. So many of the major's best players have come through that summer league. And it's really become one of the most treasured aspects of amateur baseball. If you're a baseball fan, it's definitely worth checking out the Cape to go down there to watch baseball. 
And here's a ball hit in the air. Here comes Cespedes, but he won't get there. It falls in. And the funny thing about this at-bat, he does everything wrong on this swing. I mean, first off, this pitch is out of the strike zone, and secondly, he, he tries to pull it instead of taking it the other way. Anyhow, pays off for him. Here's Xander Bogarts now. As Lester jumps ahead of him here with strike one. And he'll try to hold back on the pitch inside, but he pretty clearly broke the plane that time. It's strike two. From the stretch. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. American League strands one. But they're on top by a count of three. And it appears as though we'll see a pinch hitter now as the switch hitter Ben Zobrist has grabbed a bat and moved into the on-deck circle. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. He might have been on the on-deck circle just saying, man, I get one at bat and it's against this guy? Thanks a lot. Here's the 0-1. Fastball called for strike two. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Will Myers will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Will Myers. That's yanked into the stand, strike one. On, could we oh, see yeah. another strike out here? It's 0-2 now. This fastball is looking pretty lively right oh, now. Inside. inside, as he might be trying to set him up here, one and two. Well, you know, if there's anybody in this lineup capable of getting a rally started, this is the guy right here. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. Chris Bryant will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. You have to say they've really had a good game plan for attacking the three, four, five hitters all game long. Yeah, and I think the only thing that's better than a game plan has been the execution of that game plan. You're exactly right. They've held this lineup at bay. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So they go quietly here in this half inning. It is stretch time here at Petco Park. It's the American League three and the National League nothing. Will Myers will stay in the ball game as he'll take over at first base. Chris Bryant going to go ahead and stay in the ball game and play third now. Steven Strasburg will get the ball now as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seventh. And they challenge him upstairs as this is popped high in the air toward the left side of the infield. Bryant is under it to tuck this one away, and it's a one pitch out to begin the home half of the seventh. One gone in the inning. Here's the catcher, Matt Wieters. Strasburg is ready. First pitch on its way. Now a swing and a miss as they start him out on a pitch well inside for strike one. Oh, good spot. On the black for strike two. Bases are empty. One man out. Yeah. 
swung on and he went fishing in the dirt and the throw to first is there to record the second out. The second base. Boy, that's a really nice play there behind the plate. He doesn't panic. He takes his time and makes the good throw on to first. So score that a strikeout with a 2-3 put out for good measure. Jose Altuve ready for another at bat now. He's two for three so far. Yeah, and you can bet he'd love to get himself that third hit. Those are the kind of games that puts a little extra pep in your step. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to one and one. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. The one and two pitch. Hit hard on the ground to second, and that's through for a hit. Now batting. Mookie Betts will stand in again as we flash you back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow, a two-run home run that really got his guys going. Strasburg with a check at first. Runners back. Now a swing, and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. But that'll land foul strike one. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Pitch is high. The throw. Thought about going for second, but instead, now they've got him in a pickle. And a mistake here as he's tagged out in no man's land. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. Eighth inning coming up. The AL out in front here, three to nothing. Craig Kimbrell will be summoned from the bullpen now as he'll take over to start inning number eight. Addison Russell is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eighth. For the National League. On to the eighth now as the first pitch is a fastball that's looked at for ball one. Chopped foul right at home plate. Foul right at the plate. The count moves now to one and two. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Kimbrell's ready. 2-2 two -two pitch on its way. And the knuckle curve that time. Got him swinging and that's the first out. A lot of people wonder how to throw a knuckle curve. But you'll see it here. It's a little tough to see but that index finger really gets tucked back into the seam of the baseball. And that's what gives it the rotation and movement. Here's Juana Cespedes. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. And time's getting short here. You don't want to have to face that closer in the ninth inning needing three runs. They need to cut that gap down somehow. And a knuckle curve missed that time, two and one. One out, nobody on. 2-1 pitch is a fastball swung on and missed 2-2. Two and two. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. I'd say he's made a pretty good impression since coming on. 
two batters, two strikeouts to start the inning. Bryce Harper will stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter. The 1-0 pitch. Taken high and deep to right. Back goes Betts. A leap at the wall, but he can't bring this one back. It's a home run. A solo home run off the bat of Bryce Harper. And the National League strikes for a run to make it a 3-1 ball game. Buster Posey will dig in now. A single and a fly out for him in two trips thus far. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Two out, nobody on. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. Chop foul at the plate. It'll remain one and two. And here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. On the move is Betts. And the inning is over. So one run on one base hit the home run. No errors and no one left on base. Jake Arrieta is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. Mookie Betts is into the box now. He hit one over the wall back in the fifth. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. A little bouncer. Foul ball, strike two. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Two strike pitch is chopped foul at the plate, and we'll do it again. Way outside. One and two. Well, not a bad idea up there against a guy who's been fouling everything off in sight. You never know. Maybe he goes after that one, too. Swing and a little tapper. That's a foul ball. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. And he chased it in the dirt. Posey's got it. And he makes the throw to first. Betts is retired and there's one away the center fielder, oh this one could have been trouble but that's a nice play Arnie. behind the plate to clear himself of the runner and then make a good throw on the first base to get the put out here's the center fielder Mike Trout hit hard back up the middle and that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit David Ortiz will stand in now, hoping to get on track as they've been able to neutralize his power out of the cleanup spot. 0 for 3 thus far. From the stretch, here's the pitch. No contact on the sinker there, and he's behind 0 and 1. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. The 0 and 1 delivery. Very weakly on the ground, but that one rolls foul. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. Three to one our score. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. You know, when you're facing a guy that throws his fastball in the high 90s, you know you're going to have to cheat a little bit. You've got to get things started a little bit earlier than normal. And what happens then, guy throws you something off speed, you're way more susceptible to chasing balls out of the zone, and that's exactly what happened right there. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Seemed to quicken his delivery to the plate on that last pitch. Well, you got to remember the slide step does two things for you. It gets the catcher the ball quicker so he can throw a guy out, or it will hold the runner on first so he doesn't steal at all. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. Oh, 
Down the third baseline. Bryant is up with it. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. AL leaves one. And it's still three to one. Bright lights of downtown on the San Diego Bay. We're back now from Petco Park in the Gas Lamp District as we're set to start the ninth. Striding in to start the ninth, Daniel Murphy. And they'll need him to get something going here. Kelvin Herrera. Well, come on now, hoping to wrap this one up here in the top of the ninth. Herrera. Kicking off the top of the ninth, Daniel Murphy, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Well, it's a close ball game, but it's starting to get late, so they need to get at least one back here in this end. Hard hit ball to second. Altuve fields it cleanly. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Dexter Fowler will stand in, needing to do something here to get on base as they're down to their final two outs. Now a slider, and he gets ahead of him here, 0-1. And you can see him trying to be a little bit more patient here. He's got two strikeouts already, but he's got to be careful not to fall too far behind. And he lays off for ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. On the ground, up the middle. Bogarts to his left. He's there. Oh, and he overshoots his first baseman as it's over his head. You wonder if this is a ball that he probably should have just held on to. Instead, he tries to force it to first, and I think they're going to score this as a single and an error. Here's Ben Zobrist now. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. and oh. And now the wheels spin in that first base dugout. Oh, that man right there has got to be sweating bullets. Hard to say I blame him at all. And the look at a fastball here that's close, but it's 2-1 and one now. That's going to even up the count at 2-2. Two and two. One out and a runner on second base. And that's taken high for a ball. It's full now. Three and two. Yeah, and that's not the pitch you want to throw on two and two. I mean, that was so high, he didn't even have to think about swinging. In time to first, and there are two away. Will Myers makes his way to the plate, needing to make something happen. They're down to their final out in the ninth inning. Good bite to the slider, and he takes strike one. And this is swung on and missed, so the National League's down to its final strike now. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Now here's a swing, and a ball hit well out there toward right center. Trout is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. Oh, that is just straight gas on the final pitch. 100 miles an hour as he comes in to finish this one off. 